In this last step for the grid bot section, I'm gonna walk through setting up a grid bot from start to finish. So the first thing you have to do is figure out what trading pair you wanna use. Now I have a private Discord group called the Better Traders Club that's available through thebettertraders.com. In that club, I've been talking about this trading pair for a long time, UTK BTC. The reason why this chart is so appealing for a grid bot is pretty self-explanatory. If I zoom out on the daily time frame, we can clearly see that this chart has been in a very consistent and strong range for a whole long time, December 2021 up until November 2022. Now things could change later on and I understand that and that's why when I share a watch list every other week on the Better Traders Club, sometimes it changes. Sometimes UTK will not be on the watch list or there might come a time where this is not a good trading pair. But for the purpose of this video, I wanna point out this trading pair just because it has all the tenets of what makes a good grid bot trading chart. So let's work off of this. I have some Bitcoin and I wanna use it and I wanna trade on UTK. So the first thing I have to do is I wanna decide if I wanna use the automatic settings, which will automatically determine how many steps for my grids I'm gonna have, which is 116 levels, and the profit per grid is about 0.29%. I don't like that, that is too tight. I wanna make sure that I'm making more profit. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna select my high price to be right around here, mainly because this chart has had some mega pumps in the last couple of days, but they're not very sustainable. It would make sense to see this chart fall a little bit lower. So given that, I'm actually not gonna choose the lowest amount here for the low price. I wanna make sure that my bot is having a lot of activity. Note that it's gonna be tricky for me to move this because it has so many different levels in here. So I wanna make sure that my bot is making 1% per grid. When I choose the step for one, that means 1% per grid. So that means I have 21 levels in here. So now when I zoom in, I can see that my bot will be quite active. The one drawback that I have about showing this as an example is that this is starting it right at the very tip top of this. And to be honest, I had already been running this grid bot way back in here. And when it pumped and did all this stuff and went out of my range, I turned it off, which you can do. So I have, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant to run a bot on this right now. But just for the purpose of this example, I'm gonna use a really, really, really small amount, actually just use 0.05 BTC. So that way I have some funds in it. It's gonna be generating 1% profit each time that it goes and it hits one of these buy sell windows. If we zoom into the five minute time frame, we're gonna be able to see how active this bot would have been looking back because we can't necessarily back test what we're looking at yet but we can see based on the price and the chart action, what it would do previously. So I can see here zooming in and I did have to refresh the page. Um, TradingView has been having some weird issues lately with embedded windows, but you can see on the five minute time frame that it would be making trades going up, selling, and then buying, 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 selling, 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 buying, buying. All of this kind of stuff makes me very, very happy and it makes me wanna run this, this grid bot even more because all of these panic cells that are, that are right here, what I call fat fingers and these pumps, make for a lot of trading volume for your grid bot and it'll make you some good profits in time. So I just wanna readjust my high price and my low price based on where I think it should land. And I'm going to make sure my step is set to 1%. Great, the next thing to determine is that if the price does go up higher and it breaks out for some reason, do I want the bot to stop or do I want to keep it running? Now, given that this chart has just pumped and then it falls back down, it makes more sense to leave it running. But if I wanted to stop the bot, then I could set it to, to stop basically up here and down here. And I can choose the action between stop bot or sell base currency and stop bot if, I, if the price actually falls down lower. I don't want one of those options for this one. I really just want it to continue moving sideways. The last thing is I can choose, do I wanna take profit in Bitcoin or in UTK? For this, I wanna take profit in Bitcoin. That to me is much more valuable than UTK. So the last, the last thing to do is to name this my UTK BTC 3C Academy Bot. So I'm gonna hit create. And now it's going to tell me, do I wanna start the bot? Yes, start the bot. 
but there might be an issue because I might not have enough UTK to start this bot. We'll see. Right now it says balancing in progress. So what this means is that it's creating all of these orders to sell, to buy, to sell, all that stuff. So right now the bot is running. Even though this red thing is right here, the stop signal shows that it's saying stop. That's because this is actually working right now in progress. I started another one just a couple of hours ago today that I had previously turned off just to generate some profits for you to see. So the cool thing is that depending on the exchange, you can actually click on the ticker and you'll be able to see buy and sell orders at the bottom of the window here on TradingView. And again, depending on the ticker uh, and depending on the exchange. So I do see the buy and the sell lines, but I don't see any of the BSBSSSS. But the screenshot I'm showing right here shows you trading activity on the five minute time frame, And this is how active your bots could be depending on the trading pair. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be waiting for this to start. I mean, sometimes this can take a little bit of time. I'm not really in a rush. I'm just going to have it run up. Oh, so apparently now it's all good to go. I had enough UTK previously, so it's active and it's running. So now I just kind of sit back and wait. Now, for those of you that don't have good charts right up your sleeve and you're like, I don't know what to do, go to presets. Presets is a great place to start if you have no idea what to do. A couple of tips. You want to choose the exchange that you have access to. So I have access to KuCoin and Binance and also OKX. So I'm going to choose those. Um, I want to trade on the BTC market. And I don't care necessarily about the trading pairs. Oh, I don't see any for BTC. Let's change it for USDT instead. Let's see what I got. Okay, so I got a couple. Good. So I can see here that um, there's different bot types for spot and for futures, which requires leverage. I don't recommend that. Settings types, I don't really care. It's mostly about this. I want to see how many bots have been running for the at least two months, 60 days or less, or no, or more. Because if I have found a bot that's been running and it's been profitable over the last 60 days, I'm going to stick with that bot. That should be a profitable bot. So I want to look down here. I'm not going to focus on any of these at the top yet because look, they've just had some big little increases right here. That doesn't look good to me. I do like the fact that you can choose the minimum used funds. So if you want to identify the high rollers and to figure out what are people doing that have a whole lot of money, you might be able to trust what their bot settings are a bit more. So like this one right here for Algo looks amazing. 5% last month. Doesn't seem that great, but added up month over month over month over month, that adds up a lot. So a bot like this looks good. A bot like this looks great. Also for uh, QNT, which has had a really amazing last month. Personally, I avoid anything that has these jagged little upticks like this or like this. This isn't appealing at all. I really want to focus on charts that just have a nice, steady, slow line up as smooth as possible. So I can actually hit this copy bot. And it's going to bring me over to the bot creation window where I can now figure out the exchange that I want to use. I can figure out how much my funds do I want to use for a QNT bot. And I can also zoom out to get an idea of what do they have for their settings. And I can check out the chart to figure out, is this a good setting for a bot? Does this make sense to me? Is this what I really want to be running? So looking at this, no. Right now, no, 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 no. Right here, Sure, right here, it'd be great for a grid bot. But again, it's trending and it's moving up too high too fast. So just because it looks like it's a good percentage doesn't mean it's a guaranteed profitable bot. You'll have to use your eyes, you'll have to use your mind to figure out what's going to be a good bot for you.